Basement Engineer here, and today we'll be looking at an 8 foot trebuchet designed for throwing melons and grains. Oh crap! <laughs> this project started out as a challenge from a family friend who just wanted us to build a massive catapult. After lots of research, I chose to base my designs on the floating axle concept, as it was efficient and it looked awesome. But, I had some research to do first. I started by studying the more traditional floating counterweight trebuchet, and also tested appropriate sling lengths and different triggers. I ended up maxing out this trebuchet by using bricks as a counterweight. The family friend would be funding the project, so I had to provide proof of concept. I built this little floating axle in about an hour and a half. While not very impressive, the current design I was drawing would use a one and one quarter steel axle, compared to this one quarter inch axle. After drawing up some plans, construction was simple. We bolted everything with lots of 3 8 inch steel bolts using 2x4s as the primary material. We made the arm out of an old aluminum I-beam reinforced with some Unistrat. As for counterweights, we made some of our own by casting concrete in 5 gallon buckets with a PVC pipe for the center. We struggled to find a competent style trigger as the trebuchet was neither traditional or lightweight. We solved this with a 5 8 steel bolt going straight through the frame and the arm. Now the sling release pin. We couldn't weld anything, so we got creative with that too. This is what allows the object in the sling to be released. Once the sling reaches the right height, one side slips off, releasing the projectile. It wasn't perfect, but it was good enough. We launched 4 pound rocks to a distance between 275 to 300 feet. <laughs> Reloading and firing were fairly difficult. With the concrete, counterweight stood at 120 pounds. Simply pulling the pin required a good amount of force. basement engineer and I would love for you guys to check out the rest of my channel just go ahead and click on my name here below this July 4th I should have the Tesla coil up and running so I will be sure and post a video on that thanks and thanks for watching